This is the most beautiful building in the world. It's called Museum of the Future and it's in Dubai, the Emirates. No one knows what's inside until now. The whole building is shaped like an eye and it's covered with Arabic language. Inside, there are seven floors with zero columns and zero corners. On the fifth floor, they designed an actual space station approved by NASA. On the fourth floor, they built an actual rainforest. On the second floor, they put the craziest ideas like flying drones, self-driving cars, and robotic dogs. This isn't just a building. This is an institution that funds humans with great ideas. The future is not about a building. It's about leaving a better world for our kids. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. When you think of a farm, you think of cows, tractors, and fresh food. But what if I told you that these guys in Singapore can grow that farm inside a building? Yes. Let me show you. This is the farm of the future. It's inside a building. And here, you can grow food like lettuce, mint, and basil without the need for outside weather. And it was made by these guys. This team realized that every year, a lot of food on farms get wasted because of the weather. Food is gone. Farmers lose money. And we end up with less food to eat. So they decided to take farming indoors by building this. All you do is take the seeds from crops, plant them on top of each other, and grow them in a special way to turn them into real tasty vegetables. Thanks to this idea, they can grow 100 times more food than a farm in the middle of a city, even when it's raining, snowing, or flooding. Soon, every food on your plate might just be coming from farms like this. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. This is the most online country in the world. In Estonia, taxes are online, voting is online, schools are online, even the police is online. You can be a resident without ever visiting the country purely online. You can talk to your doctor over FaceTime and get online medicine. And as soon as you are born in Estonia, you get an online ID. Then in kindergarten, you have coding and robotics classes to make you as tech friendly as possible. Now, I know you're worried about privacy, but in Estonia, they're going online while staying safe. And that was when I started pushing for the government to really begin to develop digitization. The internet is moving fast and the choice is very clear. Countries that adopt the internet will win the future and the ones that don't will lose. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. This is where we are, on top of a city in the middle of Palestine, because this is the city of Rawabi, one of the only cities in the world built entirely by business, not government. This cost $1.4 billion and made possible by this guy, who is crazy enough to build a city with an underground theme park, above ground mountain view, tech incubators, offices, good restaurants, shopping centers, it's cool, and a state of the art English school with fingerprint scanners for attendance for kids. A place for a mosque, a church, a winery, and a real Roman theater, the largest in the Middle East. This is all built by Palestinians for Palestinians and women are involved. Many people wonder what the future state of Palestine would look like. And to those I say, you're looking at it. That's one minute. See you tomorrow! Nice! So for the first time ever, I want to show you the world's newest nuclear power plant. Welcome to the Emirates. It's a country in the Middle East that is building nukes not for war, but for peace. So they built this nuclear power plant that can power 25% of the country without any carbon emissions. Because something as small as this uranium can power an entire house for a year. The best part about nuclear energy, it's 100% safe. 250 times safer than big oil fields. The reactor is very small. The walls are 1.2 meters thick and every operation is tested 25,000 times. This is the newest and safest 
nuclear power plant in the world. From wind to solar to nuclear, I am excited because the future is going to be clean. That's one minute, see you tomorrow.